do 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 load. I guess I want to start from where we left off. I didn't actually cast all my spells before quitting, so we gotta do that. All three of them. Alright. Hit the timer. Actually remember this time. Yes? Yes. So we need to finish the basement. One goblin private. Get out of here. Um, where we left off with the basement was... We got in, we explored a good chunk of it, and then we failed to pick a door. Actually, we failed to pick two doors. So, we're gonna go give another whack at them. Poto. <laughs> And if we fail to pick them again, we're gonna have to um, get a level or two on Vera. We've been putting all our EP into Mage for our party. Except for the Mage. Obviously. Um, that sickness should be fine. So we'll send a click. Um, we need to go right. Oh, that's poison. Okay, well, let's cure that. I thought it was just sickness. Which wears off on its own and doesn't really do anything. Come on. There we go. And we found a couple of grunts. Yeah, I need to uh, cut stream at about 8 a.m. so that I can get ready and make sure people are ready and stuff. What? Okay, so that locked door held a secret door that held nothing. Oh well. No. Let's, let's bring the magic. We have plenty of magic. Let's bring the magic. That was not the damage I was expecting. That's okay, then. We can finish this now. Poisoned again. Inconvenient. Alright, I mishandled that a little bit. <laughs> it's alright, I just woke up. That's gonna happen a few times. Uh, let's go ahead and heal Sigrid while we're at it. Hello, mouse. So the favor I would ask is, in the event that I'm still streaming at 8 a.m., someone tell me, like, hey, it's 8, go do the thing. Because uh, I have been losing track of time a lot while playing this game. I don't think it'll happen, because I'll have someone kicking my door down, but... Ew, car stuff. Ew, Death Envoy. Well, that needs to die. It's dead. <laughs> we want to go right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, we've been ambushed.
666 gold. Okay, then. Alright, so the door we jammed is up here on the right. Don't mess it up this time. That's the one I need to get through. Frog. Okay. So that tells me we need a level on Vera, which I should actually be able to afford now. We can go make her level 11. There's nothing here? So when you pick a door, there's three possible results. Success, soft failure, and hard failure. I guess we can call them, or critical failure. Success opens the door. Failure does nothing. You can just try again. Critical failure jams the door until you leave the dungeon. And that is the only door we have left, so... Let's get our thiefing up to 11. Do we have any skills that would make this easier? No. While we're here... I should really begin getting mage levels on Sigrid, even though um, she won't be able to cast until uh, we change her armor around or get her the second job. Uh, that's not gonna be useful. Alright, nope. Let's go try again with uh, level 11 Thief. This is not entirely surprising because like I said, once I hit level 10 on everyone, I kind of abandon their main job in favor of uh, leveling their what's going to be their sub job. So I'm probably a little under leveled even though I have 36 casts of, well, 20 seven casts of really powerful group magic and I'm just running over uh, fights. I probably don't have the thieving I need. So unfortunately, we have to do this again. Where do I need to go from here? South, right? Yeah. We go south-south and then... The weird... Yeah. And then this was... Death Envoy. Make a samurai that is more mage levels and give them a bow in the back row. So, my plan right now is for Sigrid to become a samurai, Vera to become a wizard uh, thief mage, uh, and then the other two party members to be druids. Whether or not that stands up to reality, I don't know yet. <laughs> let's, uh, let's have you now. Let's have you cast Lotus Panicius on a Wrath stack. You cast Lotus Panicius on the other Wrath stack, and you cast quickly Fulman Cellar on the Death Envoy. Yeah, there we go. Now, when I actually do that, I may end up in trouble because I believe Samurais are supposed to equip Nodachis, which are two-handed, so Sigrid won't have a shield, which is really bad when you have one character in the front row. So I may end up doubling back, grinding a bunch of experience, and making her a Paladin instead. Uh, right, left, left, right, left. Right, left. Left.
Eh, this is fine. I love that I can just cast Lotus Panicius with impunity. I don't like that Lotus Panicius didn't finish his fight. Yeah, they can equip everything, but I would want to try to play to their strengths, right? Uh, but I may just resort to not and sticking with this sword I currently have equipped on her and a shield. As I understand it from reading the equipment list, um, warriors can equip absolutely everything. Um, but <clears throat> you get certain bonuses if what you have equipped matches, like, the, the jive of your class, I guess you could say. was that? <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Doo -doo. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Um... Lotus Panicius. Lotus Panicius. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I think it's Lo uh, Lotus Panicius. Not Panicius. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Cast Quick. Fulman Cellar. Bonk! <laughs> death just got told to hit the bricks. I hit, I hit Death for... Ow. Uh, 70 damage. This is a bad idea. Well, this is an instant death trap anyway. Naginata? Alright, now that we're through the door, let's do a save so we don't lose that. That was a very hard door to pick. We're there. Hmm. Fight. I like fights. Fights give me experience. Paralyzed. Uh, that's not good. Actually, let's cast. Where is it? Cast a Tonata. I hope I can cure that. Hmm. Poison. Cure all status ailments, we gotta go with this. Yeah, that sucks. Using the same spell level as Resurrection is not happy. A pit. Good. Is this how we're gonna play? So keep in mind that if I actually end up in trouble, I can just start spamming Extinctio. I should have it on two casters now. So... I don't think we're really in danger here. You know what? Nuke that thing. You cast... You cast Asto and Wrath. 
you quick cast Fullman Cellar on Death Envoy? The spell failed. Okay. The spell failed. The spell failed. I'm in an anti magic field. That's bad. Bricks. Am I in an anti magic field? I'm in an anti magic field. Ooh. Let's go back out the door and heal. So we're not in the anti-magic field anymore, we should just be able to run these guys over roughshod. I know, right? Anti-magic fields don't show up until you're relying on magic. <laughs> Give me a break. cast this once. Twice, really. Alright. Let's uh, pop out a save. This is butts, by the way. I know I have a while to go. A safe. I've been ambushed by coins. Oh no. One damage. 16 damage. Why did I get ambushed? This sucks. This sucks a lot. Oh, thanks. Uh... Huh. Let's just die and reload. Yep. That ambush sucked. So there's the golden coins. Don't ambush me this time, bro. Okay. So... I don't think these rooms are anti-magic. So you know what we're gonna do. Extinctio. Oh, those are powerful. Extinctio failed to cast. I saw it zoom by in the text. Okay, the gold coins are dead. Well, all of them but one. Actually, you cast quick. Fullman, not Fullman Cellar. Um, Asta Atonia. Nice. Alright, this time you successfully cast Extinctio, or I may be in trouble. There we go. That'll end the fight. I'm gonna just immediately leave, by the way. Because this is a very important quest. What is this? Obtained ancient coin. That's the proof we killed the, the uh, gold coins, isn't it? Yes. So, we're just gonna peace out now.
Divine Homily, Angel Wing. I wonder if we're ever going to get through this locked door here. Because this is the uh, tutorial area, you have to come back here to turn in a certain branch of quests. Quest complete. Did I ever complete the jewel quest? I think I did. I pass! I love Garland, he's so goofy. Two thousand EP. Now I think we have to tower. <clears throat> hey, I just found a way to instant wipe to pocket change, you know. So slay the killer bunnies. We already have that quest. It, ooh! The guild requires that you pass this exam in order to begin training for a secondary class. There's a, requ a request from the skill instructor. The guild is debating about whether to continue training adventurers to become secondary classes. Of course, we are quite willing to give the training, but are there any adventurers worthy of such instruction? The time has come to test your ability. Complete this assignment and show everyone what you're made of. Head to the training grounds where this difficult challenge awaits you. You've already accepted four quests, you cannot take any more. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's why you may cancel a quest, but we can go do one. So the reason we're coming straight back here is we actually have already done the next um, Garland quest. We did it on accident, and that's what told me, hey, I should be going to the basement now. And the item in question is... Oh, what is it? Dud bomb. You pass! Three thousand EP. Cool. Now let's take this quest. So that says go to the, um, training grounds. So maybe we're about to open the rest of that map up. 27,000 EP! Yeah, I love the guild song. Um, can we mage Vera? We can mage Vera. That gives us access to a new spell, but I don't know what I want to take on her. Like, I am literally out of spells I want. Digi has 19,000 and is a 1010. Um. Mage. We have all the healing we need right now. Have fun. Uh, or a Ventara, I guess. I will I will redo their spells once they're leveled up a bit more. <clears throat> um, you need to begin priesting, like hard. So that gave us a lot of priest on our mage. Um, drop holy bolts. Take healing force. Yeah, everyone's wearing cod pieces. Uh, Secret is wearing chainmail bikini, which I I'm sure they they find utterly degrading. Take absolution. Holy asylum. 
about silence. Take tranquility on you. And... Holy protection. Alright, we now have two healers. Thinking. Uh, let's just rest up at the at the end. <clears throat> it's not worth the money to worry about otherwise. Shop. Let's let's keep some of this stuff actually, because we're about to get a whole bunch of like equipment options. Keep a lightning bow. Let's keep a Naginata, a shuttle. We don't need the rape here. Uh, we don't need a halberd. <laughs> we don't need flails for sure. Flails are not great. Actually, what I could do is just sell it <clears throat> and then buy what I need back later. <coughs> Sorry. sell one of these. So this should unlock the ability for us to advance class. Now whether or not I can immediately advance class, I don't know. Probably not. There's probably going to be some other ritual we have to perform. Sell this crap. Keep the blue ink for certain. Faith level 6, nice. Nah, we'll find out soon enough. Alright, so we're actually gonna have to fight things in here, I bet. So we're gonna buff up. Wait, what? Oh. I thought they both said 1732. I'm like, what, what? Okay, we can go in here now. So this goes out into like a full dungeon level, doesn't it? Oh dear. Hmm, this is gonna be fun. Uh, I also want to check something out back here, just for the heck of it. Because it's going to mess up my mapping later if I don't have this room completely mapped out. It's going to confuse me. What do you have to say? I'm so proud of you guys. He's happy. Nothing here. Okay. Let us continue into the bad place. Where things are going to happen to my face. Sealed by a powerful force. Sealed by a powerful force. Sealed by a powerful force? Yes. Paper says, unauthorized entry is forbidden. Can't go in there. Unauthorized entry is forbidden. Is there no combat in here? Unauthorized entry is forbidden. So that should have completed the square, 
and it has let's actually go check out the bottom right one two three four Well, that was productive. I guess there's no combat in here, which is rather thankful because this is kind of a mess. Sealed by a powerful force. Sealed by a powerful force. One, two, three. Anything break yet? I don't think so. Is this game buggy? I haven't noticed anything. Okay, so... Half this level has no way to get in there. We may have to like go around searching for secret doors after this. Oh yeah, this is a wonderful game. This is not Kusoge. I should probably take off the Kusoge group then. Huh. This is probably no joke, my the favorite like the best game I've played in years. I am so incredibly happy with it. Uh, we're facing south right now, and I believe we are on the top right spinner, so let's turn around two, take a step and confirm. Yes. It's a little boring right now because I'm doing a puzzle quest, but it's been pretty amazing. It wasn't even that brutal to get started. I mean, yeah, I had to hug town quite a bit. One, two, three, four. More so than Etrian, yeah, it is very much a wizardry game. But I, honestly, I had more trouble in EO than I had in this. I'm not gonna lie. But EO doesn't really jive with me. It's a different kind of dungeon crawler. So, you know, people have different tastes. So we have pretty much explored everything at this point. I believe there's one branch of the map we didn't look at. Okay, so our solution is a secret door somewhere. Let's take a look at the map now that we're done. Um, I think I know where it is. One, two, three. I'm under the impression I checked every door. But if I have to walk through and check all the doors again, blarg. of them may just open despite having the note on it saying entry is forbidden. So we gotta check them all this way too. Eh, this puzzle's a little meh, if you can even call it a puzzle. It's just like, good luck jerk, one of these doors opens.
All right, let's go an S across the map. And then we'll come back and... Okay, this is the um, way back, right? Yeah, it is. We've done all that. What if this is an entirely different dungeon? And there's actually a secret door in here now? You can't search in here because he's here. Okay. Back to checking all the doors. One, two, three, four. Am I not authorized to go in these doors? I was told to come down here, yo. Light a candle and burn the sign. That means I can go in the door, right? Because I removed the sign. Four. Oh, there we go. I guess I just forgot to check that door. Good enough. We're fine. Here, I thought it was going to be more complicated than that. So this is a spiral. The sound of a click is just barely audible. It is promptly followed by a disembodied voice that says one. Did that open one other door somewhere on the map? Is that what we're dealing with? Disembodied voice that says two. Now, I guess we gotta find plate number three. We missed a spot. There's actually another door there and I didn't notice. Let's go check. So I think I accidentally solved a puzzle that's supposed to be like really annoying because plate two is behind plate one by just being dumb and not noticing the door. Can you then do these out of order and reset the puzzle? Yes. Decorative paper balls hanging from the ceiling. No. No, we wouldn't want to pull that now, would we? One. Oh. Do you have to do all the plates in order and then come pull this... Party ball? Is that the, the trick here? So we got one. But the puzzle is... There are other plates in the way. So there must be a secret door here somewhere, right? To get into that room. Or a teleporter. Click two. So, we need to find however many floor switches there are, and then find a way to teleport into that room to pull that, I bet you. So, Oh, this is going to be a challenge. Alright, so, having done that... Wait. What? 
No, I'm up here now. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's definitely very swords and serpency. Uh, more like wizardry, like I said. So we should be in the top left corner. I want to check this door down here. So there's no combat in here. You just... Door shut. What door opened as a result of this? Did a door open as a result of this? My gut says this door. No. So, it would be doors sealed by a powerful force. I believe there are four or six of them. One, two, three, four. This is the exit. I was hoping it would be kind and just be like... the top door, then the bottom door. But no. How do I get over here? What? I need a more ordered approach to this. I'm just wandering around randomly and it's not gonna help. Also, if this gets boring for you all to just have me walking around not fighting anything, I may just look up the answer, because I, I care more about it being interesting to watch than figuring this out by trial and error. But I'm amused by it so far. I want to see if I can figure it out. Alright. We haven't tried this door... that door or any of the four or the three of the four doors around the bottom block so one two three four five this is an annoying way to unlock advanced classes I'm just gonna say we tried this one already so I believe at this point we can almost uh, start looking for secret doors. Sealed by a powerful force. Unauthorized entry forbidden. That's the door that goes to the main room. Tried it, tried it, tried it. Tried three of those, maybe not all four. Tried it, tried it, tried it. So there's one possible door left. Yeah, it has to be done in order. I, I had gathered that much just based on the thing telling me like one, two, three, four. No, I think we already tried that door too, didn't we? So, the answer has to be a secret door. Uh, where was the door that entered into here? There. It is unlikely there is a secret door in the bottom panel. There could be one in either the bottom left or bottom right. Like, I would presume that we're going to find a secret door in any panel that has one door to it, which is almost all of them. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's rather rude. The, it's a, a small favor that there's no combat in here, but it's rude. I know there's no secret doors in the external walls because we for sure have um, the external walls going out to the very edges of the level. So there's no way there's uh, secret doors there. So that's a lot of wall we have eliminated. I'm hoping there's only like three plates I have to hit and there's only one I'm missing. Yeah, nothing here. This is the four door tile. So I'm kind of presuming there's nothing here, but we're going to check anyway because I don't want to be doofy about it. The other possibility is there's just something hidden in the hallway somewhere, and you have to run around checking hallways, but as a factor of checking for doors this way, we're doing that too. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, Mouse's computer kind of blew up. Have you, um, have you opened a fund to replace it yet? <laughs> Your phone is dead too now? I hope not. Like, just temporarily dead, right? Battery, right? I hope. Alright, so we've covered... Bottom left and bottom right. Can we just do that? Yeah, we can just do that. <laughs> oh, these things happen. Alright, so really, the solution is to wander around looking for a secret door in here. Until you find it. I mean, <clears throat> I have a hard time limit on when I need to leave, and if I'm still fooling with that, then I'll come back and look the solution up. Or you, that could happen, I guess. What? That doesn't make sense. aren't I? Yeah, I'm in the wrong place. Uh, is that 16 North 8 East or 16 East 8 North? I may have it backwards. Because this is uh, 15 8. Let's try um, 16 North 8 East. Yeah, okay. Oh, there? I should have known that. So, I was aware there's a either a teleport into here or a secret here. Uh, the reason I didn't care was I thought... Yeah. I thought this would be what gets us back to... Okay. Gotcha. Hmm. 
one. Is there a time limit on this too? Because I could have sworn I hit that plate. Two. One step north and east. Nope, not there. Three. So I accidentally stepped on four is probably what happened. If there is a four. Four. Is that enough? It's all in this one cell? Five. Pull the string. Five is too many. Five is too many? Nice. Okay. <gasps> you jerk. Uh, two? Three. Five is too many. Then do you have to do these in a specific order then? Four. Now stop. Yeah, we have to do these in a specific order. Now based on that... So do we need three or four plates? Okay. Let's get to the door just before the series of rooms. Get wrecked. The paper ball splits and confetti flutters everywhere. Congratulations on your re accomplishments. Return to the guild and report. Screw you, game. So that entire thing, the puzzle is only in one cell of the map. If I had known that, it would have been easy. Because there's exactly enough tiles to stand on to do this. <laughs> Basically. I guess I should have considered that. West. Huh? Oh, interesting. Nope, I was not facing west. Okay, there I am. So we go south. East. Alright, that was kind of annoying, largely because I didn't... Okay, let me explain to you my thought. I knew these were here. I did. The reason I didn't go for them was my presumption was plate 2 was here, right? I thought that if you stepped on a plate out of order, it would reset the sequence. So I thought you had to come in here after finding another plate somewhere in here and somehow secret door into this. So what I thought was it was gonna be like this. Like secret door here, secret door here, or here and here. So I didn't bother looking at this. If I had bothered looking at this, I would have known immediately what the trick was. 
So that's my fault. And that probably would have taken me about an hour to figure out before I would give up and go look at that. Oh well. I feel bad. It seems you have finished the assignment. Well done. I shall report this to the skill instructor. Alright. Um... Skills. Astrology. Um, singing, cooking, arts and crafts, knitting, comedy, astrology. You are not high enough level. I think you have to be 10-10 to uh, dual class something. So, Digi has a chance? We need this, though. Not that. Cooking, singing, pushing, healthy lifestyle. Mm. Vera is... 11-9, can't do anything. And Sigrid is 12-0, I need to start putting int on Sigrid. Um... Digi should be able to do it. I'm not sure why it's not available, because I thought it was 10-10. No, Sigrid can't do it at all uh, right now, because Sigrid is 12-0. Uh, so there is no combo class, but Sigrid also has a ton of EP. Mage thyself to level 10. Whoop, not enough EP. Okay. I know you need certain skills. Um, I, I have healthy lifestyle and cigarette already. Uh, I believe you need... Okay. I need EP either way, so we are going to try to dual class, like, immediately. Right. We're gonna go up to level 10. We're going to blow all of our MP on killing stuff, and see how much EP that gives us. Yeah, just, no. Just rest, it's fine. Wait a minute. Oh, there's a quest to, to get the class, too. Alright. We need Druid. Druid is number one. Well, no. Druid is not number one. Samurai or Wizard would be number one. Let's go Samurai because everyone else can cast the way I have them equipped. A test has been prepared to find an adventurer suitable enough to become a Samurai. Head to the training ground. I'm, I don't like the training ground. So... One of these cells is going to be open then, correct? And we got to find which one. One, two, three, four. And hopefully that's the entire quest, is find which door is open. It's not. There's going to be more to it. Aha! So we can at least assume at this point that hopefully the quest in question will be completely contained to one cell. There's a small altar. Uh, there's a statue of a thief enshrined at the altar. No. Samurai is mage and warrior. 
So it looks like this is going to be four doors, four base classes. Right? There's a statue of a warrior. The statue of the warrior starts to glow. Statue of a mage. The statue starts to glow. So I presume that's what we need to do. Now, what do we do after that? to do. Um, let's go to the top right cell of the map. This is the way out. Good. And this is the fourth. No, it's not. This is something. No, this is the uh, mage cell. So. Where do we go from here? I'm pretty sure that's correct, but what else do we do? West, turn south. Very puzzling. <laughs> so the paper signs are still... So one of these paper signs is probably the samurai door, if I had to guess. Uh, and is now open. And we gotta find which one. Or, or the paper ball. Let's go check and see if the paper ball is back. I hate spirals. <laughs> It is one of the doors, then. We just have to figure out which one. Let's get out here. And... So there are six remaining cells and six classes, right? Uh, six advanced classes. So I presume each one of these cells represents one advanced class. And it's probably... Um... Sub-job. I was trying to see if maybe there was some logical order to this. I would presume the warrior sub-jobs are up near the top. Just because by my logic it would go warrior first and then... I guess not. <laughs> But yes, one of these is open. And our mission, if we choose to accept it, is find out which one. Let's try this door. It's right here. No. Where is the door for the middle left cell? It is over there. South, west, north. Nope. South. So it's not on the left side. It's not uh, right middle. It's not right south. 
So it's gonna be right top. There we go. A bishop can reach it with one move, a knight can reach it with two moves. Okay. So it has to be diagonal from us. It has to be diagonal up and left because a bishop can reach it with one move. So it's this, 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 or this. A knight can reach it with two moves. So it's not this or this. It's this tile. So it's... Did I do that right? Yeah, this tile. So that is one, two, three, north. One, two, three, west. Congratulations, you met all the requirements to become a samurai. Quest complete. Well, that was easy. Let's uh, square this out so I never have to come back here again. Right. I like chess puzzles. That should be good, right? Yeah, that was pretty simple. Just the hardest part was finding the magic door that actually, you know, let me in. It'll get easier as we narrow these down. Uh, I'm gonna do all six of them today because I don't really, f well, I don't know. Let's see how much EP we get for doing this. If we get like 5,000 EP, oh hell yeah, we're doing all these right now. Seems you have finished the assignment. Well done. I shall report this to the skill. 500 EP, so that's not great. Uh, but let's see. Learn secret skills. We still don't meet some requirement to do it. But I think that requirement is I need more levels of mage. I think I need to be mage 10. trying to decide if I want to do the quest or if I want to go grind. Let's just do them. It won't take long now that I know how it works. I'm missing two of them. Probably because I don't have a level 10 combo of certain things. Uh, let's do the druid training. So we now know that we don't have to uh, go in prepared for combat. So I'm not going to worry about, like, casting buffs and all this stuff. I will, however, save. Just in case I'm wrong and get rocked by something. God, that took an hour to figure out. I feel bad. Um... So, a druid is mage and priest. That is the top left cell and the bottom right cell. One, two, three. That's the wrong... Alright, we need to leave and come back. I got my, uh... My things wrong. It's the... Um, top right cell and the bottom right cell, not the bottom left. My bad. Also, I want to point out the tutorial takes place in like a fifth of the training grounds. No, an eighth. A ninth. A ninth of the training grounds. And then all of this other stuff is for training advanced classes, which they're talking about not even doing anymore. It's such a waste. Whoops. Let's make sure we're right this time. Mage. Yes. 
And then the priest is the one cell that we never went into. Because we didn't need priest last time. I'm confused. Yeah, that's right. So we go south here. One, two, three, four. If it's not obvious, when I step on a spinner, I'm counting how many 90 degree increments I've gone around. Priest. I'm not spinning for the hell of it, I am actually standing on a spinner. So we have five possibilities left. Um, let's start with this the two over here. Just eliminate them immediately. Nope. This is the Samurai Dorian, yeah. Unless I've completely screwed up and turned myself around. I have not. I think. Let's just double check. Yeah, I am exactly where I thought I was. So I need to go down one. And check both of these doors. No. Okay. So we've eliminated those two. It's one of the doors on the left. Let's go check, um... Left center. One, two, three, four, five. Not left center. Let's check left top. One, two, three. I don't remember how to get into left top. Nope. It's left bottom by process of elimination. No? Game, we need to have a talk. I created the two correct statues, mage and priest. Did I mess up? Did not create the right statues? Or, by messing up, did I permanently lock myself out of the job? <laughs> uh, and try and pray. Made statue blows. Priest. Priest statue's glows disappeared. Priest statue starts to glow. The warrior statue isn't still glowing, is it? Okay. I know for sure I have them right now. I think what happened was I forgot to pray at the uh, mage altar. Which means we have to check all these doors again. <laughs> Man, oh man. What's funny is if I didn't have three quests tying up my quest log, there we go. Um, I'd be able to do like four of these at once. Okay. There is exactly one door in here. Oh no, you don't have enough strength to make a samurai, or wizard, whatever it is. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I, I spoiled myself on class requirements because I don't like the idea of gimping myself because I didn't have the right stats. 
So I came in with, at worst, one point of int short for what I needed for everything. Congratulations, you have done the thing. That was easy. I'm not gonna deal with walking out, I'm annoyed. <laughs> Alright, quests. Druid training. Now we want a wizard. So a wizard is a mage and a thief. Which I know sounds really weird as for what a wizard is, but um, that's what it is. A uh, thief is bottom left, mage is top right. Oh, they stay glowing, that's the trick. Or it's random. So we have to go check all four of these. <laughs> okay. Thief statue starts to glow. Now let's make sure priest is off before we continue. So we don't have to do all this twice. All right, we're good. We only have four possible rooms left. Let's start with the uh, bottom right. One, two, three, four. Oh, is this right? Yes, well that was easy. So this is the wizard challenge. Yeah, so even though I do these, as far as what I consider blind, I do a little bit of research because I have to see if I'd even have fun playing it, right? So I know a little bit of stuff about these games when I start out, but not a ton. I don't know like maps or anything. Well, this is appropriate for a wizard challenge. It's uh, very random. What are we missing? Quite a bit of stuff, actually. That's fine. We pretty much just need to explore this whole room, I guess. And then we'll probably find, like, numbered plates or something again. One, two, three, four. Like the, uh, class challenge. Or the, uh, unlock challenge. Alright, what's left? Uh, a little bit of stuff. So we're in a secret door... Oh, there's another secret door here. Congratulations. That was easy. Let's OCD the map and then we can head back. So there's going to be a secret here in one of the three walls around this. Or... That's not where I expected to be. I mean, I guess it's not in that incredibly important to map this out. We're never gonna have to come in here again. In theory, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah.
but I like having maps 100% done. It's satisfying, question mark. And I'm only missing two little nooks. Last one is here. And that should be everything. Yep. Very appropriate for a wizard challenge, I feel like. And I'm not really interested in a ranger. Those are the three jobs I want. Uh, I don't know if I can actually take any of them on right now. I don't know if my stats are right. In theory, Digi should be able to. Druid. Um, 10,000 EP. So we're gonna need some EP. You can't take Druid yet. Vera... Vera is one level short of being able to, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So we need EP. Is the long and short of it. So we're gonna run up to 5F. And just blow some stuff up. <laughs> I don't have a better way to put it. And we're going to save after all that drama. So once we hit 10k EP, we can make Digi a Druid. Now, Druid is the class I'm least excited about because I don't even know what it's going to give me. Um, what I'm excited for is Samurai because that means Sigrid will start to be able to cast spells, which is a good thing. Oh right, we took the elevator, so our route to 5F is a little bit different than what I thought. It's kind of circuitous, actually. Bleh. The elevator punked out at 5F. Watch me run into a bunch of car knobs and die here. After all that. Well, it's not Karnov. Peace. Ajite. Yeah, I get wrecked. <laughs> it is a little flashy, isn't it? Defend, defend, cast quick. It's about to happen again, by the way. No. Let's be safe. Cast quick, Lotus Punch, uh, Panisius. Yeah, Karnofsky. That's actually a uh, Russian mythical creature, I think. There's also a lot of references to like other games in this game. Uh, like an elite and a dark priest. Um, Macro Glacialis is what I want to cast, but Vera may not successfully cast it. Well, yeah. And then you cast quick Fulman Cellar on the Dark Priest.
<laughs> That's a good song. There we go. Oh, that wasn't enough damage to kill them. Well, there's one left. We're done. Sounds fun. I've been ambushed by skeletons. Eh, everyone just cast Lotus and whoever gets it off gets it off. Yeah, the game is very flashy. It's not so bad if you're actually playing on a DS because it's a, you know the size of a postage stamp, but I just looked at my stream overlay and yeah, that's pretty bad. Box of gas. What I want is like the 10 bunny fight again, but uh, we're not going to get the 10 bunny fight again, unfortunately. That was a one-time thing. Oh, did you fail to cast Squash Yellis? Yes, you did. Jerk. Did I do that right? Um... Do you want to use uh, Desmume, or do you want to use a uh, modded DS? Because I can share with you the tribulations of laying out overlays either way. I know this isn't, like, optimal either, but it's the best I could do. No rules gets fat gets into a GDQ. Oh my god. That sounds uh, horrifying. Um, actually, no, we need to kill those gremlins immediately. Gremlins are dangerous. So we're gonna. Lotus the Nightmares. Um, Lotus the Killer Bunnies. And cast quick Lotus on the gremlins. That didn't kill them. Oh no. Well, it killed some of them. It is GBA. You're right. I wasn't even thinking about that. And then Saltatus Ardens should finish off the gremlins. If we just pile on with it. Fair enough. And then I'm just gonna physical these down to finish the fight off. Ow. Yeah, that's the big problem, is not money, it's getting a modder to actually mod it for you, because the most of the modders, like, do it out of their garage and have a queue. And they're just like, then charge you an exorbitant amount. Because they're doing it out of their garage and have a queue. Yep. Gremlins are nasty, nightmares are nasty. So based on that, we need uh, Macroglossialis on this. That's good enough. Uh, let's 
save, actually, while we're talking about getting bodied instantly by nightmares and gremlins. <laughs> Wait, I went one room too far. One gremlin. Should be fine. I haven't found anything worthy of dropping um, Extinctio on. That's where the real experience is, dropping Extinctio on like 80 uh, skeletons. Well, 36. The music in this game is really good in general. Uh, where are we? We're in that four-way intersection. Let's explore this out while we're just like getting experience to do our... Um, just whole day, whatever. Negative 10 AC, and they're, they're not going to do much damage to Sigrid. I've got about an hour left before I got to start thinking about uh, packing it up. Assassin bow, that sounds good. I've been ambushed, that's not good. That bunny will mess you up, okay? Do not tease the bunny. Does anyone remember PokeTheBunny.com? <laughs> or am I a relic of the past with that one? That's a one-way door, as I expected. spicy. Flashing warning. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty old meme. I was in, like, middle school when it was a thing. I got ambushed and Killer Bunny A ran away. I don't blame him. Alright, so Vera is completely out of useful multi target spells. That's fine. It was. It wasn't a flash video, it was a website that just had a picture of a bunny and a button on it that said poke. No, Sigrid is not disarming this trap. And after poking it a certain amount of times, it would bite you and set a cookie. Uh, that every time you came back to the site, it would just replace the poke button with the image of the bunny biting your finger. It was silly at the time. It's still silly, but you know what I mean. Kill living dolls with Lotus Panicius? I don't even know. Uh, cast quickly, Macro Glacialis. Bonk. Yes. Ooh, this is a nasty, nasty fight.
Let us murder the crap out of those gremlins immediately. It's a phone app now too? Oh goodness. Why? Fireblade? Probably a Flamberg. We need to heal a little bit. Where to next? I'm not even 100% sure of where I am at the moment. I think this way. Is this a door? way to go from here. It's down into this middle path. All right. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> I just one-shot the boss. Okay. Oh, now battle demons uh, show up as normal encounters. Okay, that's fine. So that's my last Extinctio charge. Poisoned. Uh, how are we doing on EP? A lot. 20,000. Getting ambushed by like 18 vampire bats here. Easy peasy. Covers up most of the enemy quantities since that's when Ah. Choker necklace, necklace Harakuri dagger. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to equip that one. I have a lot of equipment shuffling to do once I, um, I get my sub jobs going. My advanced classes, whatever you call it. Uh, you are completely out of useful spell charges. 
and you're almost out, so we're going to be noping out of here pretty soon. No comment. I wish I had uh, a charge of Extinctio left, but we don't. Does instant death work on skeletons? It's kind of a philosophical question. I guess the answer is yes. Actually, maybe not. I don't. I wasn't paying attention. So we're gonna not do that again. And lotus them. I think after this fight, we're gonna go back because um, I'm actually having trouble killing things quickly, and things in this area are dangerous. It doesn't seem like it because I'm blowing them up with a flick of my finger, but. Uh, some of these fights, if I didn't one-round them, they'd kill me. This is a bomb trap, by the way. Ow. Yeah, we're heading back now. Quite enough to get there. I had to raise mage to 10 on Sigrid, and I came in just a tiny bit short, and by tiny bit I mean like 9k. Can you do the thing? You need to level up to one level though, that's it. Um, what do you need? Thief mage. What are you missing? think about that. Maybe it'll come to me while I'm fooling with this. Druid. So, Digi is now a druid, which is not really all that exciting. Uh, you are missing something. You are missing levels. Unfortunately, not gonna make it. Um, the wizard is what I, I want to see. Thief Mage, you must be missing a skill. I need to remind myself. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. So, you need to be 10-10 to become a wizard, but you need a skill that only unlocks at 13. 13 strength? No way. No. 13 int, not strength. So, unfortunately, that's gonna suck. That'll be okay. So we got one druid out of all of that. <laughs> Meh. We can get the samurai very shortly. We just need another 10,000.
I don't even know what getting a druid particularly gives you. Oh, more of an AC bonus, basically. Okay. <sighs> no, it's 13 int. So what you have to do is you have to be 10, like 13, 10 or something. But you have to learn astrology, which is 13 int. It's kind of a screw you. That's all right. We have to go blow some more things on 5F up, is the, the basic gist of it. Also, in the course of wandering around, we may find the boss of 5F, and it's fine if we do. It would be nice to know where it is. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do is, um... Get the... Get the, um advanced jobs going and then call it for, for now, because that will probably take the last 45 minutes I have before I have to uh, head off. These guys I can just punch, it's fine. Something worthy of note, by the way. Um, this is a pretty normal fight, experience-wise, here, and it's 122 EP. And then I go up these stairs and start getting 1,000 EP per fight. It's really kind of silly. survived. And now he didn't. So we're in the middle here. Uh, so we want to just continue straight through to continue uh, exploring the area. Fang soldiers not worth blowing a spell charge on. You know what? Um, I need to eat breakfast too before my day starts, so I'm probably gonna end up cutting a bit earlier, even than eight. Sorry, I just realized that I'm hungry. I don't like eating in my car. Oh boy. We've hit the jackpot. 
unfortunately, we got an ambush, so we have to burn a turn, and then we can nuke these clowns. There should be a secret room um, directly across from the door here. Not that there's anything particularly useful about this secret room, but you know, it's nice to find. That's better. Um. We should go south here, actually. We haven't been south yet. Hmm. Uh, this is a strong candidate for... Instinctio. that you have to actually step on every tile to... The docks I have say you have to be 1310, uh, have 13 ent and get astrology. Poison gas! Screw you, game. Poison gas? Nope. There's someone locked in the prison. A man is bound with heavy chains with his head completely covered by a steel mask. Numerous locks hold everything in place so he cannot escape. There is no doubt the masked man is Slash, so... yeah. Something must be done about the locks before he can be freed. We don't have a key. So we've gotta keep this in mind. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Eh, it should be fine. Ow! These can cast, uh, Fulman Cellar. Ain't that a thing. Ain't that a kick in the head. Uh, Resurrection cannot be cast in battle. have one charge of level 6 left. I cannot uh, accidentally use it or there will be trouble. Oh, I missed a door. Not that there's anything useful in it, I bet. It's probably a trap. No? 
Okay. Not the bunny. The gremlin. Blow the gremlin up. Wow. Vera took 31 damage from that uh, trap failure. Some pretty uh, impressive damage. Alright, onward. Bats! And they ambushed me. Uh, we are going to extinctio this. This is gonna take a minute, folks. How are we doing on EP? Um, so when Sigra gets to 10,000 EP, I can get Samurai on her. Uh, Vera is going to need a lot more, unfortunately. Digi's already a druid. Uh, she's gonna become a druid um, after approximately 20,000 EP. Soon. You're not wrong. Oh, Vera's gonna die. I had no business failing to disarm that trap so many times and not dying. Um, I'm running out of uh, spell charges of the good stuff. Spell fail, that's fine. Just physical, the uh, living dolls, they're not dangerous. I've been ambushed. Oh, ambushed by gremlins. Okay, we're fine. That could have gone bad. I like how Ulo Fatalis doesn't have a hit effect, just things die, and that's it. It kind of gives some flavor as to the subtlety of the spell, if you know what I mean. I 
Okay, there is another door back there we can take a look at. Fang soldiers. I like fang soldiers. Fang soldiers are not particularly dangerous and worth a lot of VP and usually come in very large quantities. So it's just, you know, EP pinata. That goes out, right? Yeah, that goes out, so we don't have to worry about it. It's a one-way door, too. Um, I'm not messing with this. We're going straight to the uh, careful cast extinction. Ow. Never mind, I died. Oh no, Digi died. I screwed up. Badly. <laughs> so I went for a careful cast Extinctio to just flatten everything. What I forgot was that the uh, ball demons can cast uh, group magic, and like four of them did and killed everybody. Oh man. There's a warp here somewhere and I'm trying to remember where it is. Not on my map? Do I have a resurrection item? Ah, uh, this sucks. Not that. Um, I think we're just gonna reload. When did I save last? Alright, I got cocky and blown up. We didn't lose a lot of progress. You, uh, can't do that. <laughs> Is the long and short of it. You have to give, um... Gremlins and Ball Demons proper respect. If they all decide to cast, you won't have time to careful cast Extinctio. You gotta do something a little bit smaller and faster. I need to check and see how many EP I have now. You know, I was thinking about drinking some recovery potions and then trying to walk to the teleporter. Uh, and we probably would have made it, but I had saved like five minutes ago. It wasn't a big deal. Rip. Unfortunately, we saved a little bit further back than I thought. We lost probably about ten minutes of progress. So we're probably just going to get Sigrid to Samurai status and then call it. On the other hand, Digi has 20k EP again, so um, caster levels going to happen all over the place. Where am I? So we come into that door. Oh, okay, I get it. We want to go this way. This is fine. So living dolls can be killed with uh, Lotus Panicius. I think we need Glacialis for nightmares.
I'm more annoyed about losing the map progress, to be perfectly honest. I guess it depends on who casts it. Maybe I should be upping people's intelligence. Samurai. So Sigrid actually effectively lost a level for that. Um, because your level is your average of your two classes, and Sigrid is a 1210. So instead of being a level 12 warrior, she becomes a level 11 samurai. But that doesn't matter because it doesn't update her health, it looks like. So we should be okay. Um. Vera needs 24k EP to get intelligence to 13. That's gonna suck. We'll get there, though. Digi is already... With the skill, one can identify encountered enemies. We don't really need that. I will take the, uh... Status resistance, though. Um... Let's go... Go Mage 12. That will give us access to Extinctio on Digi. Um, what do you need? You need Priest 10. And now you should be able to Druid, but I need 10,000 EP for that. Alright. Uh, let's go... There's 24k, that's right. Blows. Now that Seagrid is a samurai, um, I want to get mage to 12 on, on her. For Extinctio, because we love Extinctio. Alright, that's, that's pretty good. Let's go into the tower right quick. I need to do some fooling around. Weapon. Where is the Naginata? Not the Naginata, the Nodachi I looted at some point. I didn't loot a Nodachi? Hmm. Okay. Uh, give me a second. I gotta decide if it's worth buying it. Uh, no. Briguit Sword. 1d4 plus 8 times 4, which is pretty impressive. Uh, 45 to 60. Nodachi. Uh, 18 to 45. Two-handed. But you get an AC bonus if you're a um, samurai for wielding the Nodachi. But I'm not entirely sure how much of an AC bonus. What if I wield the katana? What does that do to my AC? Nothing. And that drop, that raises my AC. Okay, let's stick with, uh, uh Briguit's sword for now. I'm only using a wooden shield on Sigrid? Buh? Okay. I can upgrade my AC, like, rather trivially at that. Inventory is full? Huh, okay. Yeah, my inventory is full.
I don't think anyone's gonna be able to wear great helms. I think we're done with this. Um, break with sword, I'm not sure. We definitely don't need like five Harakiri daggers. Um, that is not a thing we need in this life. I can't believe I was using, like, the not optimal shield this whole time. So that will have us at negative 11 AC when we, you know, buff. No, we need to find leather. We're gonna need to find leather when we get our wizard. Uh, Naginata is never gonna be a good thing for us. There's a better option than the katana. Um, there's a better option than the crossbow. Arc. We don't need healing potions anymore for dang sure. We don't really need antidotes anymore either because we should have like five casters who have Absolution, that's the spell I'm thinking of. Uh, defense Ward, Dagger, Um, Nodachi, Harakiri Dagger. What does the Harakiri Dagger actually do as far as damage goes? Um, it can be equipped on mages, but I'm not going to be putting a mage in the front row. 1d6 plus 2, 1 extra attack. Hmm, it's not terrible. And then we concluded the Nodachi... 18 to 45, 1d10 plus 5, so that's 3 hits, 45 damage. No, Briguet's Sword is is our winner here. Uh, Maybe our winner for the rest of the game, to be quite honest. I don't see much better. Um, there is one better option, actually. It looks like. So, yeah. I think we're good for weapons. Let's hit the end. Can I buy MP restoring cookies? No, of course not. <laughs> that would make too much sense. Uh, Slay the Beast King. That's pretty easy, so we're gonna take that right now. The Beast King is in 4F. Actually, he's technically in 3F, but you get him through 4F. That's a little out of order and a little strange. Yeah, negative 11 AC. Loving it. Yes, Karox. Save. Alright. So, we made no plot progress today. But we got advanced jobs, and we got two of our people to advanced jobs. Uh, Vera's gonna take a while. And myself, I'm, I'm lagging behind, as is typical. But 10k EP to get the second druid, and then 30k EP to get the wizard. And then everyone will be able to cast Extinctio, and life will be good, and we'll, we'll just blow everything up. <laughs> um, I think next time I'm gonna finish mapping the basement, because I'm not done there. It's just, it's really nasty down there. Help, it's dark and scary. And then I'm going to continue exploring 5F with the intent to have everyone second jobbed before we find the boss of 5F.
I have to get breakfast and I have to get ready to be out for the entire day.